This is a 3D pen. Basically, it heats up rods of plastic and squirts them out, allowing you to make super neat 3D sculptures and shapes. It's kind of like a 3D printer, but instead of a computer guiding the plastic, you are. Over the past two weeks, I spent about 20 hours learning how to use a 3D pen to see just how difficult it is, and as usual, documented the entire process so you can learn from my mistakes and see what worked well for me. I'm very excited for this skill. I got one of the cheaper pens. Uh, hopefully it works well. Got the pen, tiny screwdriver. Amazing. This is so crazy. You can 3D pin, pr you can 3D print, you can 3D print with a pen. First filament has been inserted. Let's just do this. I'm a little bit nervous. All right, 3D pen. Tent number one. Ooh! Ooh! I don't think this is working. Oh yeah, something's happening. There we go. Okay. Oh yeah! Oh. <laughs> How does anyone draw with this? Right. Okay. So it's almost like you have to keep it on the page and then maybe build things from there. It kinda smells like candy. Oh no. It's kinda like working with um like icing, plastic icing. The goal of this first project is really just to understand the technology and make something that is fun and have fun with it. And I think that's really important, especially when you're starting to learn something new. So not take it too seriously, because that's when people quit. Okay, first thing I've made with a 3D pen. Honestly, like, I think it looks pretty decent. No. And so this took about an hour and a half. Now let's try and make something 3D. So one thing I've noticed with 3D pens is that you can't really like draw things in the air, which you know when you think about it, it makes sense. So I think really what you have to do is build it up slowly in the shape that it's at or build individual pieces and attach them. Apple, here we go. All right, finishing touches. I think this looks pretty dang good. Oh. I think it'd be really cool to make like a structure of some sort. So now I'm gonna try and build a bridge. I am very curious to see how strong this could become. All right, I've drawn up a very simple bridge design. I have no idea if this is gonna work. Let's give it a shot anyways. Wow, this took way too long, jeez. Not the most perfect bridge ever, but what, 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 are you gonna, what are you gonna do? And honestly, I think it's coming together in like a pretty cool way. It honestly feels like super solid. Wow. Well, I am going to, Jesus. Oh my God. Bridge is still intact. I'd say this bridge is a success. All right, today's day two of 3D pen practice. And I think it would be fun to make something like wearable. I want a real thick, like a real meaty mustache. All right, that's looking pretty good. This mustache has seen things. This mustache knows how to fix the plumbing. This mustache is disappointed in you. Not angry, just disappointed. I just have to figure out how to attach this to my face. Is this a up the nose sort of thing? All right, this is what we got. <laughs> okay, I think it would be really cool to try and make some glasses to go along with the mustache. All right, I got the base pieces of the glasses put together here, but the problem is that they don't really sit on my nose. And I was looking online for some general 3D pen tricks, and one of the things they suggested I get was a soldering iron uh, to smooth out these different parts, and also to get it warm and then bend it out. 
Okay. Might be hard to tell, but if you look right there, it's starting to melt it a bit. The soldering iron did actually help, like I flattened it out. It doesn't look great, um, and I did burn it in a couple spots, but I think once I get the hang of it, it's gonna be a really useful tool. <laughs> That's not bad. Like, come on. Amazing. Okay, this is great, but these things are still mostly 2D structures, so. But now I wanna try and make something like the apple, but make it look like super duper detailed. So much sanding. If you look at the difference between sanded and not sanded, this is way better. So I think it's worth it to spend the time on it. And the plastic king. Just cutting that Bima's face. Almost two hours just sanding these guys. But I've also learned a ton while making these, so I think the rest of this is gonna go a lot smoother, hopefully. All right, it's the third day of 3D pen. I'm starting to realize that making really nice stuff with a 3D pen is almost more about what you do like after you've actually used the 3D pen and all the little details that you add in. So apparently you can use lighters and flame to make the plastic more malleable. All right, so if you're thinking of giving this whole 3D pen thing a shot, here's what I suggest. First off, the $40 pen that I used for this actually worked really well. It took a bit of fiddling around to get the temperature working properly, but once I got that temperature nailed down, it did what I assume a 3D pen is supposed to do. So if you wanna give this a shot, but you don't wanna drop the money on the name brand 3 Doodler, I think this is a good alternative. And then a big thing that I learned with this final project with BMO is that making really high quality stuff with a 3D pen is actually more about the things you do after you make the stuff with a 3D pen. It's the sanding, it's the tiny little details, it's flattening stuff out with the iron. I probably spent two or three times as much time doing that stuff than I did actually using the 3D pen for BMO. Anyways, this was a super fun skill. I'd highly recommend giving it a shot if this is something that has piqued your interest. And as usual, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.